Okay, so I've got a Razzle, Chillop Vs, and a Bunny. Hey guys, and welcome back to the next episode of Harmony Hollow. So, there's a little bit of an issue with this episode because I actually have already filmed this episode, but there's no audio. Yep. So, I'm going to just have to give you a recap and a rundown of everything I did last episode because I can't do it again. You will see why. So, I originally started upstairs and came downstairs because I made this little thing here, which was a culinary generator, mainly because I thought I was going to be able to make cookies. Turns out I could not make cookies. I wanted to make a tree cookie. These still do not know how to do them, but it's not through this. So that is what I did to start with and then I thought you know what I'm gonna make a shop and I'm going to sell shields. So I went and made a bunch of shields, made a shop and did all that and then nothing to come from it because obviously I lost the footage. Why is there seeds here? What's happening? Oh, oh no, there's a command block there. Why is there a command block there? I can't click on it. I don't want to stand on it. Is there anything under it? I'm just having a check. Give me a minute. There's some water, but I think that was just there. Oh god, this wasn't here before. Um. Oh! Brett did a thing! Okay, so, this actually helps. Basically, we were building little teleports to and from spawn so that we can get to everyone's houses. Now, obviously, I'm not keeping this here. I will need to get it moved and I'll build, like, a little hut over here. I can do that this episode now that I can't do the shop. But this helps because let's just go back and we can have this little room here. I built the room, but Brett's done some reworking of it to make it cute as well. And then if we come up here, this is us in spawn now. So it's a teleport hub. Oh cute, she's got it already. Oh and she, girl's been busy, she's taken down some more houses. Cute. So now I can actually show you my shop. We've got Lauren's pirate shop over there. Mitty's working on I think a sweet shop. There's the hamster shop, the fruit shop, the igloo, whatever that is. I know it says Woolworths but it's more like pile of ugly. Ooh. But mine. I've been as cold as a bucket of ice. I've been trapped like curious mice and I've, I've been looking for a way out into the sparkling light. I've been a lost balloon in the blue and like Tom free falling without a clue. I didn't know what to do until I first saw you and now I never have to free. It's a shield shop. They're multicolored shields all the way around it. I love it. So if I show you what shield I made, I made this shield, but obviously using colors because I think it looks adorable. So Scott's Spectacular Shield Emporium. And if you come inside, there's like a wooden shield, a stone shield, an iron shield, a gold shield, a diamond shield, and an obsidian shield. So they all do different things. Well, these all do the same just depending on, I think it's durability. I know they do different amounts of protection, but the obsidian one does the most protection. No, it doesn't. They have man, so obsidian diamond one is best. But the obsidian one actually slows you down because it gives you knockback protection, so you can't get knocked back as far because it kind of is heavy. But yeah, so this is what I built. I thought it was really cute. I wanted it to do a bit differently. Everyone else had built really like over the top builds kind of thing, so I wanted to join in with that. And I thought just doing a nice simple shop, but with giant shields on the top would work for that and I'm very happy with how it came out it's super adorable so this is my favorite shield this one I love the cyan and the lime it just looks adorable so let me know in the comment section down below what you think of it what do you think of the shop because I mean I'm asking your opinion I'm not going to change it I like approval give me approval so we're actually going to go back to this teleporter hub and go back home and we're going to build ourselves a little hut because obviously I don't want people teleporting right there. I want people to see my house right away. I ain't about that life. I'm thinking maybe here. I need to decide what I want to build it out of because I have some stuff here. Now let's see what we've got in our plot. We only have the little green tool shed, which is now actually a tool shed because I don't use the vampire slash toilet base underneath. The rainbow tower, this is all cyan and white. So I need something that's not cyan or lime green which is annoying because of my two favourite woods. Stained planks, let's have a look. I think purple could look real cute. So if we pop upstairs and I will grab the mangrove and the purple dye out, and then if we give this a little dye, like so, that could work. 
And then we're gonna have orange. And orange and purple does not work together. So that's gonna be a no. Do we have any marble? It'd be nice if we could have some marble and I could sort of keep the theme. We have some. Okay. So then just bricks. Unless there's anything else that could work. I think the bricks will work. If we do bricks in this purple, hopefully we can make a cute little structure, which we can then get the spawn point changed to. So maybe if we do it over here. I think it needs to be circle, whatever it's going to be. And this tree needs to go. I need to find the astral sorcery style of marble because that's a type that lets me do slabs because it needs to be on oh, no, a quark marble would work this is quark so if i take this and put it in like this it should make polished oh it did okay so if it says quark i want it there's like three different mods that all add marble so it does become an issue at times when you're trying to find the right type there we go I just wanted to put some slabs all the way around it. And I need to put something in the floor. Maybe just mangrove because it's white. And then I want this to be where the command block is. And I need a roof of some sorts. I also want some shears, which I think I have in here. Oh, I do. Because I want some rainbow leaves to decorate around it, along with some of these flowering vines. But I'm going to need something to go on top. Well, I have some other clay, so I could dye that a different colour. Maybe just do purple on purple. Hopefully 60 is enough. The clay shingles are just so much nicer than normal clay. I don't know why. It just is. And I'm actually going to just make it one taller, because this is all going to be covered anyway, so it wouldn't look too tall. I'm just hoping this is going to be enough. Oh, it was. And that looks cute. Now, if we get some rainbow leaves and traipse these down it, like so... And then I want to just grab some of these flowering vines. And then if we just pop some of these around, it will look super cute when it's all grown over it. I'm going to need more. Okay, so that should look really cute when they all grow down it. The only thing I'm also going to need is some sort of lighting in here because it's quite dark. And I'm also going to need some doors. But I think the deco bench should be able to cover both those needs. I'm just going to take the deco bench with me. It saves me having to stand around with it or run back and forward. I can just pop it down and have a gander. I am going to go for those. They're really cute. With it being like the wire glass door so you can see it. I am going to go for paper lanterns for lighting. I think that will look super cute. And then they can also be used to light the outside. That looks adorable. Now what else can we use to decorate in here? Because this is the first thing people are seeing when they come to my house. So I need it to be cute. Maybe some stained glass, actually. So maybe did like some there. So let's try stained pink glass on like the four corner pillars. It also just lets in a bit of light and lets everyone see the amazing world that they have now entered, which is my house. So that looks adorable. I love it. See, from inside it looks good. From outside it looks like it should be all the way down to the bottom. But I mean, it's fine. It looks great. I'm also just going to put down a little table with to chairs you know people can just sit and have a nice time in there a mantelpiece is just too big annoyingly dang it i was like it'd be cute if i could have a fireplace in there i mean why would I ever need it but it'd look cute pot down a tea set so you can have a spot of tea while they come over it's basically just turned into like a little sun room and i'm down for it okay i think i'm gonna put a sofa there and then we have a little wind chain which can go there and then a bird bath which can go where this is, that looks adorable. I don't know if I like the sofa. I feel like the sofa's just too big. I thought the sofa would work. I was incorrect, it did not. What if I actually just did some slabs there and then put some stuff like decorative on it? That could work. Okay, so I've got a razzle tulip vase and a bunny. That looks cute, that's better than the sofa. Much better than the sofa. So if we pick up the deco bench, and then if we have a little shut off the doors, let's see what it looks like. Oh, that's adorable. Oh, it's so cute. It looks so cute. I'm happy. Now I have a little idea when someone gets teleported here, they're in a nice little idea. It means if they come at night time, they'll be safe. I mean, my house is pretty safe anyway, but it means no one can sue me for getting attacked. It'll be great. I also kind of want to dig up all these trees and then replant them all. 
because they were kind of just spotted all over the place. I want my area to be pathed and then having rainbow trees is sort of like the divider between them all. Okay, so you've got the path that leads up to the house and down to that fence. I'm going to need another one that comes in from here. It's always much better, I think, to just do this sporadically rather than doing it like in a solid pattern. That might just also be my opinion. Other people might disagree and prefer a solid path, but I think it just looks nicer when it's a bit more sporadic. Though saying that, I'm pretty sure on one life my path is completely solid, so I might have just contradicted myself. Well, my Harmony Hollow self definitely prefers it sporadic. And now I can plant some saplings around to divide up the areas a little bit. And I need to go and get bone meal and see what this looks like when it's all done because it could be horrible. And I have a bunch more rainbow saplings which is perfect. Okay so let's get bone mealing. I just used all my bone meal. What the hink? Oh that's a really tall one but that looks really cool. I hope I never need to take it down because that's going to be a pain. Oh yeah that looks really cool. It definitely makes it feel a lot fuller by just sort of blocking off some of the empty spaces. Okay, I'm living for it. I am, however, going to need to relocate some torches onto trees. So I think that looks really cool. Let me know what you think. I won't do any more just yet. I don't want to overflow my area. But I think I want to start over the next few episodes maybe filling out my compound. Because obviously when you look at it from the map, I've only got my house, my farm, my like rainbow tower barn. I've got mangrove trees over here. Now I've got my little spawn hut and I've started dotting out a path. I think it looks a lot better. So obviously I'll bring another path round there and then one that will go up there and then I think there's a side door there but I might just put a small path or a few dots there. There is also an exit out here but I don't know whether I want another path running through that. I might. Let me know what you think but if you have any cool ideas on what you could think I could build in this compound please 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 let me know in the comment section down below because I love reading your guys comments and getting ideas and what I can do to make my area look prettier. So yeah guys I hope you enjoyed this episode of Harmony Hall. If you did remember to leave a like. Sorry we couldn't show you all the footage of me collecting all the shields and building the shop but at least you got to see a quick sped up thing of me doing it. But yeah hope you enjoyed it. Remember to leave a like, comment down below, subscribe if you're new to the channel and I will see you all next time. Bye! Thank you